I'm Jeff Lockwood. This week on Ancient Mysteries, archaeologists believe they have discovered the world's oldest joke book. It was found in a small hole in the ground in modern-day Iran. I was just walking around in Iran and I tripped in this little hole. I noticed there was this book there, but it had some dust on top. Uh, fortunately, I had this silly little brush, so I just dusted it off and picked it up. The discovery of the joke book has stimulated a plethora of scholarly debate in the field of academia. At this point, we can say with relative certainty that the authorship of these jokes is varied. Uh, the process of collecting them in, in this book was a kind of anthologizing of the uh, popular jokes at the time. It wasn't as if some ancient comedian just, just penned them all himself. It would be fair, and in fact even just, to say that life in ancient times was much more difficult than life in times today. For instance, there was no electricity, so they had no microphones or, or means of amplifying themselves suitable for a comedy club. Imagine for a moment a Stone Age comedy club, then stop. Don't imagine it anymore, because there were none. There were no comedy clubs. If someone wanted to tell a joke, they had to find some high ground like a, a large rock or a hill and, and stand on it and scream the joke at the top of their lungs. Imagine the strain that that put on the vocal cords. Knock, knock! Knock, knock, knock! It, it's okay, it's, a, it's just a door. I, I just invented it. You can, you can ask me who's there. Knock, knock. It is my personal belief, and this belief will be affirmed by some of my colleagues, that this was the reason for the joke book. To take these, these cultural stories, these tales, the, the struggle of human life represented by jokes, and put them in a tangible form to be passed down from generation to generation. You see, they, they got tired of screaming the jokes. But what exactly does the book contain? Two years ago, researchers at the University of Chicago began the painstaking process of restoring the pages to their original form. Some of the jokes point to specific mythologies, uh, such as this joke on page 247. Uh, wh what did Sisyphus say on his way up the hill? Uh, Ouch, my back hurts. Why did the Sphinx cross the road? Because the gods willed it so. The question and answer format of this joke is uh, a format that was very popular in the jokes of the time. It's what I like to call an A, then B model. Uh, it's a two-part joke model where A is part one and, and B is part two. It, it starts with A and, and then it moves on to B. The, the humor lies in the realization of how B affects A. Consider this, this next joke as an example. What did the guy say after his run-in with the Tyrannosaurus Rex? Nothing. He's dead. Yes, all of these jokes are old, but, and this is assuming if the multiple authorship theory is true, how do we determine which jokes came first? Though it is certainly the oldest joke book, uh, we still aren't sure what the oldest joke in the book is. Uh, we aren't sure if it's on the first page or, or on the last page. Uh, we don't know if they just wrote the jokes as they came to mind, or, 
or if they put them in some kind of order. And, and either way, uh, did they start on the first page or, or on the last page? My colleagues and I, as part of an intense archaeological study, uh, which admittedly is quite speculative, have come up with a few possible candidates for all this joke in the book. What is the difference between this poisonous berry and this nutritious berry? The poisonous one will kill you. Have you guys heard of this new god? He's getting quite big. His name is Zeus. Does it smell like something's burning? Uh, uh, yes, it does, uh, because I just discovered how to make fire. What's this thing called? I don't know. I don't think it has a name yet. Though much has been discovered about the joke book, researchers have only scratched the surface of the book's secrets. There are many questions that remain unanswered. What kind of ink did they use to write the joke book? Uh, and who would be able to read it? Where did they get parchment? Did they have access to some kind of prehistoric printing press? Aliens. Oh yeah, that's aliens. I've been abducted 13 different times. It's a big government conspiracy, ask Kissinger. Aliens, humans, an early incarnation of Richard Pryor, we may never know. But what we can say is that our understanding of jokes has changed forever. <laughs>